That's, when you I, download that, a car. I know, I know. But that's what I mean. A pirate can be something else, too. It's a... No. Yes. We're in a heated debate yes. about something You are something grammatically correct. I that's what it is. You are I... grammatically correct. Yeah, and I'm an English major. That's all I yes. care about. <laughs> I will... I will... I will... I will give you that you are grammatically correct. However, in terms of vibes, as someone who was going to be a film major, as in terms of vibes, <laughs> no. See, we're getting into the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. <laughs> the letter. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying what I'm implying. No. I'm saying you're wrong. You can say I'm wrong all you want. <laughs> that does not make you any less wrong. You just said I wasn't wrong, though. Grammatically so. That's all that matters, really. <laughs> Hi, everyone. The question <laughs> is, Markham, who, who, who is tonight going to be heavenly hell for? Um, uh -oh. It was going to be Marcus. This was going to be Marcus's personal hell, but oh unfortunately, illness has swept <clears> through <throat> our ranks, and these are the handful of survivors, so... What will happen is they'll walk around a corner and then they'll just disappear and oh well for them. What? <laughs> yeah, you guys walk around the corner and Marcus just disappears, so I guess you guys will have to get your own heavenly hell. It's fine, we can but take on the But it was too bus. late to change the name, so. Oh, yes, please, Born Stiller, weigh in on both English and film, by, by all means. Born Stiller? Yep. <laughs> I'm judging your answer. I support it. Wholly. They're probably used please to this. put them both in their place. Yep. <laughs> Listen, you cannot tell me that, like, anybody who illegally downloads a car is on the same kind of vibe level as Blackbeard. Who said anything about vibes? I said pirate. I was talking about vibes. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> I don't even know what the question is. The question is. is, can you be a space cowboy pirate? No, that's not the question. That's not the question. It's what I <laughs> no. understood the answer, as. The answer to that is yes. <laughs> the answer to that Thank is you. yes. You can be. What the fuck are you arguing can, about then? Can be. <laughs> it's the difference between Hondo Tanaka and Cad Bane. Hondo Onaka, thank you very much. Tanaka is someone What did else. I say? Tanaka. <laughs> Tanaka? <laughs> who's, who's got the last name Tanaka? It's an anime that has a name kind of like Hondo. It's a very Japanese... This is just yeah. a I general <laughs> Japanese last name. Tanaka <laughs> is a very... You, you pull that's up like Duolingo saying, right now like and saying. start learning Japanese, it's going to be like the third <laughs> name it give you. It's like I, ta that, Tanaka, that's... Nakayama, and uh, Yamada. And those are like the three like <laughs> generic last names that they give you. You basically <laughs> just said, wait, wait, what's that character with the last name Smith? Who has the last name Smith? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's there's an anime character with a name similar to Hondo. Is it a My Hero Academia character? Hanzo? I, that's probably who it is. <laughs> I'm just accidentally... There's a character named Bonzo Tanaka. There's also no, a member Hondo. of the Spartan program named Tanaka, apparently. Holly Tanaka. Tanaka. Oh. The question was Damn something it. to do with cowboy vibes versus pirate vibes and whether pirate is a verb or a noun. And also I'm not disputing not the fact that pirate is a cowboy that verb. is also a pirate and then throw that all in space. It gets very confusing very quickly. I don't understand it. I'm disputing the fact that you cannot have cowboy cowboy vibes are not the same thing as pirate vibes I never said they were also pirate as a okay that's the actual argument pirate as a verb is not the same vibes as pirate as a noun I am not even talking about vibes I'm saying you said to make a pirate if you tell me to make a pirate it can be anything because I'm what making did... someone who has pirated something yeah what did they illegally download 
You don't even want to know. <laughs> Half life two. <laughs> I can't tell you it's plot relevant. <laughs> but I did make a pirate. What did they illegally download? They illegally downloaded Fortnite. It's, it's a free it. game! It doesn't matter. They illegally they downloaded it. <laughs> they used one of those sites and they used a crack. They're like, it they can't even be cracked! They got it from a, from a website that <sighs> definitely gave them a virus. So, yes, they did make a cowgirl. Cowboy, whatever, and I did also make a pirate, and they're in space, and I followed the instructions <laughs> as they were given to me. Okay. We are oh, getting some cool. cowgirl action in this campaign. I, no, not this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. I, yes, I love what? you. I love you so much. You're one. No, of I know not this campaign. I'm just saying in this campaign where you're making these characters. I heard cowgirls. So does this mean yes. we're getting some cowgirl action? Mm -hmm. Yes. There's going to be a cowgirl. She's going to do action. I love her already. Mm. And yet somehow my character has the biggest hat. Don't worry about it. Naz, it's biggest a... Hat. Naz, it's, it's, biggest it's, hat. Take, take the letters E, X, S and switch them around and it's a that thing. Yeah, mark them. <laughs> mark them. You're not explaining this to middle schoolers. You're explaining this to... To a yeah, but, but Twitch is open to middle schoolers, so you know, since they haven't figured out how to spell yet, are, are we? Oh. Are we? Isn't this mark for mature audiences? Yeah, because if this was open to the middle schoolers, I couldn't oh, say right, fuck, but I do anyways. So you're right. Never mind. <laughs> Naz, it's a sex thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they knew it was a sex thing before you even knew it was a sex thing. Yeah, I totally did. I, I was just totally on board. I, I do not <laughs> believe you for one second. I super was. <laughs> no, because Naz is a lesbian. Naz knows. Naz knows what's up. Yep. <laughs> this is this is Naz's I'm lying through my teeth voice. Okay. Oh, I'm totally aware. <laughs> I've learned to pick up on that. <laughs> okay, yes, but this is when I do it in a way that is comedic and you know that I'm lying. Yeah, when the hands I rolled go in the a hips, nat twenty insight, you're lying. <laughs> when when the hands go in the hips, you know it's real. <laughs> you can't even tell where they are. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I couldn't find my cutting utensils. Your cutting utensils? Yeah, that's a lesbian thing as well. Mm -hmm. That one I don't get. Oh, well, that's no. what I was looking for. I was looking up a thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard it referred that way, but okay, that's what I figured. You gotta find your cutting oh, utensils. Oh, that oh thing. Oh my god. There. Oh. No, Mark can join the party. Well, brain sometimes clicks a need. Needs to click. Brain, yes, catch up. Short circuit. Mm -hmm. Rebooting. 404. That <laughs> sounds <laughs> <laughs> sad donkey. <laughs> All right. Shall we? Yes. Let's no. Go maybe. Boss fight. So. All right, so uh, you guys uh, walk into the room, and this thing uh, casts uh, Fireball at ninth level, and then now uh, you're all below 100 hit points. It I'm not, bitch. Next four Fight me. To cast um, Power Word Kill. No, I'm kidding. All right, we're, that's a wrap, everybody. It has four spell actions. It's five. No, I'm kidding. Eight. Eight, actually. One for each of its limbs. No, I'm kidding. Fuck. Yeah, I think you, you, that's not how it works. I think you're lying. <laughs> I think you're a liar. You guys won't know until we get there. And I think there. I had peanut I'm butter also... for breakfast. And it had a, a, a banana in it. And it was pretty good. Mm. I agree. Also, this banana bread kind of smacks. Just, you just see a little mm. hand reach up and <laughs> <laughs> all right uh where we left off was you guys um were in the thing right boy that that makes Excuse sense. Me? in the thing with the stuffs oh, okay so you guys had yes. uh, taken shelter in a cave that turned out to be a portal to another dimension essentially 
Uh, thanks to the arcane eye of Sir Wellington, you don't have to guess your way out of here and instead know exactly where you are and where you need to go. The problem is there are these shambling Man. flesh golem-like things along the way out. Shambling flesh mound. Wow. Yes, they're right. wiggly and gross. They Hold are. on. Are these undead? Are they undead? Yeah. Uh, roll Wouldn't inside. you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? No, investigation. Do an investigation. Okay. Can I just fucking take these bitches? Fourteen. <clears throat> <laughs> Stop it. 14. Stop it. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. You know what I mean? I didn't do shit. You can't prove anything. Assert control over them magically. <laughs> Stop uh, it. They are indeed. Ah, good. It's okay. At least you're hot. <laughs> I'm doing necromancer shit, okay? <laughs> this is exactly how it's supposed to be. Stop it. <laughs> And I support you in all your endeavors. You go, baby, go. <laughs> Why is everyone sexualizing my necromancy? <laughs> but I love what you see making seeing you make a body rise. Oh not the only thing you make rise. Let's go. <laughs> no more. I already have a harem of zombies now, apparently. <laughs> God damn. No, you've got a harem of zombie punks, hot zombies, yeah. Oh yeah, you did get the hot zombies. I didn't get I never said anything about hotness. I said the big strong ones. Now I know, but yeah. I had you roll to to see if they were hot and they were hot, so Of course, because what else would we do with our time? <laughs> yeah, they're princely shaped. My don't got a horn. <laughs> All right, so these things have, have you. spotted you. Henceforth, I am ignoring Silky. <laughs> yep, I am. I'm such an annoying sibling right now. Don't even <laughs> worry about it. It's Let's okay. Go. Give me, give me five minutes, and I'll have her put in her place. What the fuck? What does that mean? Don't you want to <laughs> know? Don't worry about what it. What are you threatening? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't threaten my being. There are I worse love her too much. fates than death in the universe. Don't I mean, threaten I think my being. I, love her too much. I, th I think most of your char your player characters here are kind of aware of what your worst state than death is, Markham, at this point. Oh, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think most of them have been petrified at one point or another. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Callie's the only one who's escaped petrification. Mm -hmm. Amusingly hey, enough, yo. I actually have something worse than that in mind. For Markham. Once. What? They're petrified as gold and then they're slowly melted down. No, no. Yes, yes, Naz, you wish to... She's attuned to the staff now, right? Of course. Of course. Tell me why she can fucking cast Plane Shift and Alberion had this the whole time? The whole... <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me this campaign could have been cut in half if we only had the stick? And he gave and, and he <laughs> and he gave it to Abigail. I can also cast plane shift. <laughs> oh my god! Because he can't I've done it multiple times. Oh yeah, you have an excuse. Mm. I you're gonna have to ask Alberry on that yourself, Abigail. Um, not giving you all the freebies here. <laughs> Hold on, let me fucking read it. I feel like... <sighs> and yes, I do have reasons why he didn't just yeet himself out of here. You can do pick up to... How many fucking creatures? Eight. It's Yeah, eight. eight. <clears throat> so if they were all in Sanctuary, yes, technically speaking, you could just slowly do it. Um, but... Eh. Eh, let's just suffer. Um, well, it's more so the fact that there's ancient evils on this island that if they get out is going to be detrimental to the rest of the world. And Alberian most likely knows this and is going, you know, we probably shouldn't let this other stuff out of here. And I'm 
I know that there's enough people here that are probably powerful enough to deal with this. So let's deal with this and then we'll get back and the rest of the world can sleep a little easier without having to know what the boogeyman under the bed was. It was actually, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not saying what his actual reasons are. Y'all can theorize all you want, but until, well, okay. until are Abigail we currently in him, combat? No, no. The, okay, the things cool. have seen you and then... have started working their way towards you, but no, not yet. Okay, well, I'll send my zombies forward. And... We, all, we also have Rary's telepathic bond right now, so we can still communicate with each other uh, telepathically for, like, the next 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say she is going through the staff because she's figuring it out. Is Alberion is linked in, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. She's going to, yeah, she's going to interrogate him. Be like... Why does this staff have plane shift? Yeah, pretty sure, why uh, wouldn't it? Why wouldn't you? No, yes, why true. didn't you use the plane shift on this staff? Why wouldn't he, why would he use it? I mean, I know I'll put plane shift as well. So why the fuck are we still on Gashale? Because well, I couldn't I mean... take everyone and I'm not leaving anyone behind if I'm going. There's that, and then, like, there, there's some, like, evil stuff going on here. So, I mean, it's like, it's like you either, you either, like, give yourself a little anesthesia and you feel like the, like, the, like, you know, like the virus keeps spreading and then you, and then what? you, it, the anesthesia wears off and then you're like, oh my God, it hurts even worse now. <laughs> and, and then, and then, or, or or you actually like clean it up, and you like take care of the wound, and then it heals over, and then you're like, oh man, it hurt for a little bit, but now it's better. Or you can make it not hurt for a little bit, and then it hurts worse later. That's what this island is. I feel like. Sir Wellington, what are you talking mm -hmm. about? What's anesthesia? That's what you know, like your... where, you know, you know, like the like the stuff in those like bark roots that you chew on that make you feel numb and like all all like woovy. Those are drugs. No. Yeah, yeah, no, but they, 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 they take the pain you away. Memory. Is it? Wait, no. No, that doesn't no. sound right. It is not right. And it, that's when you. That's, that's amnesia. I, I remember. I remember. It's amnesia. So then the anesthesia. Amnesia, Can someone anesthesia. in this link give me a good reason why we cannot just teleport out of this fucking hell of an island? Who do you want to choose to sleep to stay behind? I don't care. Well, then you clearly hmm. wouldn't have an issue with it. No, I don't have an issue with it. Then you may go. My vote is Sir Wellington because he already said that he can plane shift, and so he'll just join us later. Why, why why am I leaving? No, you're not leaving. We're all leaving. Well, nine people, including me. Why? Why? I mean, this Alberian also knows teleport. That can't get us off the island. No, but it gets us out of here. No, teleportation only moves you from one location to another within a single plane of existence. Why can it not get you off the island? We're in a different plane of existence right now from the island. That would be well, my We were still on the island. I thought we were just in the cave. No, there was a little portal that took us to a different area. But I thought it was just like, it was like, oh portaled into this area like it's on the island still look at look but, at the um look at the rock formations those aren't natural to our, our realm of existence i you don't know I what's natural to, to your realm of existence okay you have a fair point there so even better we're already on a different plane of existence we can just teleport back home onto our normal fucking place we don't even have to go back to Gishael. Again, who are we leaving behind? There are too many people here. Here? How many are we? I think. But, but the but then the thing is, what about what about the 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 things that are on this island? Aren't we supposed to deal with them so that they don't hurt the rest of the world? There's are someone we? here already dealing with them. Um. Oh. Yeah, there's demon hunters. No. I I... Shall... 
there's a, there's a, there's a guardian. Um, oh. Has been pretty self-contained that for as long said, as I know. That being said, this thing that um, Marcus seems to have awakened or strengthened uh, is different than anything I have seen thus far. Well, if the however many fucking fireballs you threw out it didn't kill it. Was it in the same room with you guys when you did the fireball? Da 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 boom boom. I don't think that quite killed it. So yeah, I know Loki won't be have a problem if I was like, yeah, things got a little crazy over there, so we can't, we left. He'd be like, yeah, it makes sense. So I mean, um, I I will I'll follow whatever you guys. I came back here to um help you guys because you guys are my friends. But, but what about all the other survivors? I mean, I guess I could just keep playing shifting slowly and like over like a month or so just keep popping into the Feywild and like being like, okay, your turn, your turn, your turn, your turn. We have an open portal on Geshael. We just need to tell them where to go. It's not going to close. Also a good point. We give them a little map, little or directions. They'll find it. The only people who have to suffer at all are the extras in this room here. Correct? Essentially, the yes. <laughs> the extras. People look around like, I'm sorry, what? What is the extras? <laughs> she looks around. Who who how many, many actually are we and like who who is You have a dozen or so from your your group say a dozen or so how many hang on i have my notes here somewhere how because i know we're, we're exactly? eight of us are linked to telepathic or nine including eight. sir wellington eight or not eight are linked that's all of us plus alberion one of the demon hunters dolores yep ian this is her name dolores and that's it i think or two demon hunters All right, so beyond you guys, there is, so you have the two demon hunters, Dolores, and then the rest of you. Wait, so you guys, Dolores, two demon hunters, Alberion. Okay, so that's nine. Um, oh, you have a total of 18, so you have a total of 18 people. Oh, other than the Why eight did we bring that many? Because you were going to war against the necromancer. And yeah, we one of you gave a fantastic speech about how we need to fight together and honor, glory, and companionship and stuff like that. I didn't Two say any of those with... words. <clears throat> but okay, so if you guys was... left and I left with people, two people would get left behind. And that does not sit right with me. I can stay behind. I guess I could as well. Well, no, you you have to take people. Or can you plane shift others? It's been a while uh, since I've used the spell. You and up too. I don't think you can go without the people. Or er, send the people without you. Then I will have then I would have to go. Because I guess it's true because you have the staff. I think... Baron Dune. I'm so... Can where you not where do did it? Marcus go? Hold on, everyone. Where's Marcus? Were we walking and talking too fast and his little legs can't keep up? I don't know, but he's gone. Well, I don't mind leaving him behind. I guess he's volunteered himself. He can't keep up. I wasn't expecting Jolly to agree with me on that, but okay. Wow. I was totally just joking. <laughs> oh, why, were you, not... <laughs> why were you serious? <laughs> I think I was not joking. I thought we were all being sarcastic. No. It looks like Kieran is not there either, and it looks like maybe two of the others disappeared with them. <clears throat> Ooh. 
because I don't see Kieran either. <clears throat> Where did they go? I I don't feel good. I don't think it is right for us to leave Marcus and Kieran behind with two other people. That's that's not very that's not very cash money of us. Why? <clears throat> Because Kieran has been nothing but nice and helpful to everyone. <laughs> okay. Speak for yourself. Okay, he might be a little antagonistic towards you at times, Abigail, but he's also been very nice to you. All things considered. He's made threats, but he hasn't actually acted upon them like like Marcus did. <clears throat> so Marcus is being left behind. That's one but selection. Where, okay, but where's Kieran? <laughs> Why are we all agreeing? I was expecting some fight back on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, there's Kieran. He's up ahead. And Kieran's like up ahead, like slashing through the golems already. <laughs> oh. Well, I should have expected that. Maybe so... one. I want to kill one. Tell you what, I can stay behind and I'll look for Marcus, all right? Can you plane shift by yourself? No, but I can definitely get out of here. You don't have to worry about me. Well, I don't want you to get out of here the same way you got out of there last time. But that won't be a problem. That's not ideal. Not to worry, I will be careful. She kind of leans on the staff that you gave <clears> her and kind of like looks him up and down. Because he's like in like, he's not, he just respawned, right? Yeah, he's not... so he's like 25 again in appearance. Yeah, he, does he look like kind of scrawny and like, he doesn't have a bit, bunch of armor on, right? No, no, of course not. I mean, he's in, you know, rags, essentially. Yeah, so she kind of like looks him up and down a bit judgmentally. Not not like she's judging him, but she's judging that statement. Like, I can handle myself. Like, she's just like, mm-hmm. So, Albarian, I'll, I'll I have a question for you. Um, If I, and he reaches down to, is there like a like a rock or pebble or something like that on the ground? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. I'll wait until you back. Why are we all agreeing to leave Marcus? I was expecting <laughs> everyone to be like, Abigail, no, you can't do that. <laughs> well, no, Callie's like, Abigail, I thought we were being sarcastic. Why are you serious? No, wait, no. No, we can't leave him. We can't do that. That's that's wrong. Not after I saved him. Okay, so I reached down and. All right. The what? I'm going to reach down and I'm going to pick up a song. Okay, Albarian, how how can I take this and uh, attune it to this plane? Uh, it's That's a rock. Okay, one second. Hmm. 
Okay. Does anyone have Kelly? Do you have like actually no? I'll I should in my bag have like a spare dagger, yeah. Yeah, pull out a spare dagger. I'll give it to Kelly. Kelly, can you take this and uh melt this into a little uh to like little like fork? Like it has like a little like goes up and then it like splits in like this. So it's like a little like he pulls out a little his little tuning fork. Like this one here or like this one here. Uh, I've and when you guys like... look at them, you see like one has like a little like like uh glittery like band around it and the other one has like a little green band around it. The fact that fire genasis do not come ingrained with heat metal makes me upset. Oh, gosh, you don't. <laughs> I've got my one <laughs> spell. <laughs> Technically two spells, but one of them's a cantrip. Hmm. This makes me angry. Can I just have heat metal because she works at a forge? I thought she could just do that because of all, all the like munching on glass and melting stuff she's been doing. That well, glass is a is a different temperature than metal. Okay, fair enough. But <laughs> but she works at a forge. That's what she does. <clears throat> I will take a point of exhaustion to be able to to overheat. Overheat. <laughs> <laughs> Markham, that's a question for you. I know you're typing. Why does Albarian <laughs> look like he just walked out of the fir like one of the mummy movies? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good question. Well, he's getting you know scraps <clears throat> that are thousands of years old to wear as his only clothing option. So, and he hasn't really taken time to stop and scavenge for outfit options. All right, sorry, I missed your your question, Kali Selkie, Kali Kali Selkie. The, it, the correct answer is right there in front of you. You could have just said so, Cali, and not <laughs> and not struggled. So, <laughs> Cali is what they're gonna do once they get back to the mainland and need to to buy passage on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a child. That's an extra crime. Uh, no, can Cali? It just means she'll be get, worth more. Can Callie get a point of exhaustion to overheat to be able to shape this dagger into a tuning fork? Yeah, I'll allow that. Okay. She's gonna go. She's the younger the slave, the longer she can serve the pirates. What's up? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're not. We're not selling Callie to the pirates that made a prison riot with Amako. We're not doing that. <laughs> Um, that's how they get captured is when Callie gets free. <laughs> yeah, and she gets no emotions. <laughs> um, okay. Where is my exhaustion? Where do I add my exhaustion? <clears throat> Conditions. Give me the conditions. One point of exhaustion. We're going into overdrive, baby. Her hair gets super long, super flared up. It starts like spreading to her arms. And she's just molding the shit. You ever seen a, a rock slow heated by lava? Her <laughs> entire body is glowing. <laughs> Hey, I'll bear it. How do how do we attune the uh the the little fork that is being made to this plate? Uh, I haven't been taught how to do that because because uh Kevin just gave me these two. That's why this one here, this one with the little glitter around it, is for failure, and the one here with green around it is for um, what you call it. For the plane that y'all are from, I that's a good point. Give, what is what is your world? Co what is the world called that you guys are on? Because I don't think I ever learned that. Uh, 
actually most people don't know <laughs> uh that would be uh phelan but most individuals outside of the academic uh, circles don't know that um good to know so th this one's for phelan and this one's for Phelia, and we'll call this Feruin. because it seems like all the worlds have to have fate in their names based off of the other two Because this is like a ruined place, so this is Fey Ruin. <laughs> I don't think that's quite how that works, but um, we'll go with it. Uh, give me that, and he takes the tuning fork and and the rocks, and spends a moment casting a little uh, little ritual. Uh, as how did you do that? Kieran is just yeah, c come over here. Um, okay. Take some notes. Take <laughs> some notes, and he'll he'll. Kelly's gonna go kill flesh things with that other dad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Kieran's up ahead just hacking his way through these these flesh golem things. Golem, golem. I'm kidding. Uh, uh, so while they're doing that, what is Abigail doing? Is she just going to yeet herself? What? Yeetus deletus. What do you mean? Is Abigail going to yeet herself to a different... Oh, oh my. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Or is Abigail no. behaving? She's behaving. Look at her. Yeah. Behaving. She is going to send her zombies, though, and make them kind of annoying to Kieran. Eh? <laughs> so she's not technically behaving. Of but she's behaving in the grand scheme of things. She's behaving as well as she can behave. Yeah. She's a behave? It's behave. Oh, okay. She's just kind of she, washing her zombies. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> All right. Waiting for the waiting for the flesh golems to fall, so she can fucking get them, <laughs> collect them. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, the the golems are pretty quickly hacked through between Kieran, Callie, and a couple of others that rush forwards it, forward to aid. Um, you do lose two of your zombies. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Sorrows. One of your zombies, the other one loses an arm. But he's still up. Sorrows. Cool. I got fucking burnt by the foot. The what? Sorry, I'm being a kid because I never got these as a kid. So whenever I get it, I get a chance to get them. I get them because they make me really happy. That's fair. I got a motherfucking fruit by the foot. Oh, cool. I'm gonna. How many golems are there on the ground? About eight now. <laughs> I guess they're all... if we plane shift, they're not coming with me, but. <laughs> It's true, unless you want to bring them and leave the other people. <laughs> Jeez. Yikes, your priorities. Oh, God. I no. Mean, it kind of fits for her. Undead, she, no, she's on supremacy. her best behavior. She's on her best behavior. The it's... best behavior that we've seen. That's true. Do we... <laughs> Do we have a bag of holding? <laughs> Can we Actually, put a bag yeah, of... you guys do have a bag of holding, and yes, you could technically put the undead in the bag of holding. Can you put a bunch of fucking zombies in a bag of holding? Just a ruin? Um... Pocket army? Yes, actually, technically. Hey, you could pocket do that. Does, doesn't Abigail have a bag of holding? It is on her statue. All her magic items mm -hmm. are on her statue, yep. and I want them back. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Good. 
Well, Sir Wellington's not going to let you. Sir Wellington's not going to let you put those in his bag. <laughs> I want to well, see this discourse. I want to see. You, you, Abigail's gonna ask him. <laughs> Abigail's gonna ask him. I want it. I, Abigail should have a bag of cold ink to preserve the body. Otherwise, they'll continue to run, and she'll start smelling funny. No, they're they're zombies. They it's still fine. smell funny. They always do. That's just the name of the game. I guess <laughs> <laughs> like supremacy can't invest in like some Febreze. Yeah. <laughs> you can just press digitate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just it's Febreze, fun. Febreze. <laughs> Febreze the <laughs> fucking zombies. That's why we prefer <laughs> skeletons anyways, but like or vampires, but anyways. Um she's gonna be like, do we want to bring this smaller army? Because we would need to put it in like a bag or some shit. Is Sir Wellington done bag? taking Before notes on how objects. to attune? Yeah, yeah. At this point he's just finishing up the ritual now. I, we definitely just count as objects. I, I have no issue with it. It could come in handy at a later date. What bag are you putting them in? I am asking if we are bringing them collectively <laughs> and thus putting them in whatever resource bag, whatever we have to bring them. And if you have a bag you want to put them in, go for it. I mean, I, I don't care. No, I do not. It's on the statue. What statue? A statue in the fucking <clears throat> lab. Why did you put your bag on a statue in a lab and leave it there? I didn't put it on the statue. I had it on me and then I turned into a statue. How are you here then if you turn into a statue? Boning shit. And she kind of pulled it to a very... Oh... So what happens then if that statue, because I'm guessing that was like a petrification or something. What happens if that statue then got like reanimated? Uh, someone would have a soulless body to do with whatever they desired. Don't phrase it like that. <laughs> Why is everyone sexualizing the necromancy today? Stop it. Because she's got big titties. I don't okay, know what else so you want from me. She's just doing dark deeds. Leave her alone. <laughs> Darky's nuts, all right? Ooh la la. <laughs> Muting Sulky. <laughs> Sulky, you are now muted. Go away. <laughs> You've been banned. <laughs> she just kind of like looks at Alberion like, I guess that. Or I could be siphoned back in, maybe. Would that no, be possible? That would not be possible. You are in your current body. The old one is just a husk now. Oh, uh, yes. And this body <laughs> could be a husk if you... Soul change. Can you soul change things? Is that a thing you can do, Albarian? Uh... I probably could if I studied it. Well, it's so like of... if I wanted to take a a soul of a spider and put it into a soul of a pig. I don't really study that type of magic. It's rather frowned upon. But <clears throat> you could eventually, put potentially. I like your line of thinking. Not a lot of that would be really that would be really interesting. That would be really interesting. Imagine how much the 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 spider would freak out being inside a pig's body, and like, what would what would a pig spider look like, and like, uh, and what would it do? Because that would be really interesting. Would a pig spider just actually be super lazy and then end up dying because it doesn't know how to catch other insects and things like that? And would a spider pig just get really frustrated because it's it's just shitting out who and not actually webs and it can't actually catch things anymore and it's now like what do i do i already you have the four legs try to climb up walls i can tell yeah. you from experience yes it would you've done this before <laughs> not, not you google exactly there was nothing in there that <laughs> you, you, you know spider pigs not spider pigs what do you know then? What what spider things did you see? 
Oh, you see... Dampiers, in all their wonders, can climb walls. Like... Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, so... I could... What, what... So why 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 then would why would then the spider try to climb a wall as a pig? Because when you are used to being able to do something, sometimes you just do it, and sometimes you fall on your ass. <laughs> Did you wake up and try jumping on a wall and then not stick to the wall? <laughs> a few times. <laughs> and stop laughing. <laughs> it's very funny. Did you see this, Alberian? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, yes. He tried to walk up walls. It's very normal for Dampiers. You can just walk up the walls. And now it's like a big deal. Fucking humans. Hey, I'm not human and I can't walk up walls. Don't group us all in together. <laughs> Fucking whatever you guys are. All of you. I'm grouping all of you. Wow, rude. Yeah. Has anyone told you you're kind of a bitch, Abigail? Many times. Yes. If they mm -hmm. haven't, okay. I am. I would be amazed. It would be really impressive. But that went... being said, that being said, I did once work underneath a um, librarian who was an absolute bitch, and. Uh, well, no one told her in a few hundred years, so I suppose it's possible. Uh, Kieran likes working under people, too, from the sounds of it. Abigail, are you royalty by any chance? I'm a lady. No shit, Sherlock. So... Yeah, I could have told you that. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like that dude that goes around and like discovering things. He's like, "Oh, look at this!" No, the I implications the of that comment. <laughs> well, you got you got them titties, so. Okay, Sir Wellington. I mean, you. I, I know, but I wasn't gonna note uh, not mm, say that I did it. Mm. That's not okay. Entitled. You are pretty entitled. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you seem pretty when? entitled. I'm glad that yeah. I'm glad that you like came to terms with this. It... Since since when? Why don't you act it then? What are you talking about? She acts plenty entitled. What okay, is this for, conversation? For, from the from the ladies. Like, if you're talking about upper class and, like, royalty type ladies, then um, oh. she does not act that way at all. I act I perfectly don't... within the confines of my class. Uh, I don't know. I've I've sold some shit to a couple of ladies. They kind of track. They kind of all make sense now. Usually they get mad whenever there's flaws, and I have to tell them that, like, yeah, there's flaws. It's handmade. It's unique. It's not, like, perfect, whatever I make. And then they get a little butthurt about it, but then you try to phrase it as, like, it's unique and it makes it one of a kind. They're like, oh, my God. That I can understand. Then all of a sudden, it's, like, the coolest shit they've ever bought. And I'm like, you already bought it. <laughs> I'm just delivering. <laughs> That's one of a Have kind. Have I sold things to you? This is going to be weird. Small world situation. Have you bought glass from me? I don't know. Have you ever made like big stained glass cathedral like yeah. shit? Yeah. Possible. Holy shit, small world shit. You know the one of a kind shit that makes it really hard to imitate, so keep it up. Thanks. I will continue to not be perfect. Yeah, it's very good for business. You know, when I used to imitate, like, sculptures and shit, the little mistakes that these sculptures would make would take ages to fucking actually chop into the perfect little slit, so... Mm -hmm. It's... You did Although forgery? Think... <laughs> yes. Wow. For many years. 
<laughs> Abigail admits to art forgery in front of an artist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, one thing I know for damn sure is that Abigail can't imitate glass blowing, so... You can't imitate glass blowing. So I don't care. Try to sculpt glass. Let's go. <laughs> Tink, fuck. Yeah. How often do you tell people to blow your glass when you get mad at them? Uh, I... the My mom got mad at me for cursing too much, so I... We have come to the terms of you could say, kiss my glass. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. But, but you blow glass, so so why not blow my glass? Because it doesn't translate well. Blow my spherical glass. All right, I hate to break up this fascinating conversation. Go be a but pipe the, blower. Uh, yeah, the yeah, see, see, see. <laughs> the you get it, you get it. I get it, because you don't blow the glass, you blow the pipe. <clears throat> that blows the glass. Okay, so I have this, like, fork now, so now um, I can come back here, and I can get Marcus. Very well. This is definitely not the vibe, Kim Dracula, but go off. Are we wanting, are, okay, well, the question is, are we wanting to go ahead? I'm happy to go ahead and just stick around here and do what we need to do and, like, leave all together, or we can leave and like small pockets I, it's up to you guys i'm happy to do whatever needs to be done like i said i i came here to help i believe we should plane shift directly to histon take care of it i don't know where histon is i know where histon is don't worry about it and i can't then... uh, i just saying that because i cannot get to histon you can get to Uh, what do you need? If I go first, I need, to, I need to know where he is. Like I, I don't know where he is. I can't plane shift to a part of a plane that I've never been to before. Well, do you know if if I am there? Can you do that? No. How uh, am I going to get to you if I don't know where you are? Just I don't know. Do you remember the castle I pointed out? The weird one. Kind of. That's not very good. It you was really sure. small and off into the distance. You want me to like imagine like I'm transported to a small speck and then be like poof. And then I we end up in like a little rock in the ocean somewhere because I was imagining a small speck. Like that's, that's what's going to happen. Well, just. Have you ever plane shifted before? No. Oh, man, this is not going to go well. Well, you name a location, right? Kind of. Okay, I will name Hisson's new castle. If you're very worried, we can go back to the old one. Okay, do you do you know the name of that place? Do the you old know place? the actual no the place that you need to go to? Mm, I sense it arcanely. So you don't actually know the name of the place. I don't believe she does, eh? <laughs> she just felt it through vibes. Yeah. So you just told me mm -hmm. if you knew the name of the place, and yep. then you're like, I'm gonna go there, but yes. you don't know the name of the place. It is Histon's new castle. That's not the name of a place. Why not? If I say Abigail's house. Yeah, but if that is your actual house, then that is Abigail's house. And and you know where that is, and so you go there. You have not been to this castle. If you say Histon's castle, you're probably going to end up in the Histon castle you know. Not the one that you're wanting to go to. I mean, that might be good, because then you can get your shit. Fine. I can go to the old one. And, and... Wait, if we're plane shifting out of here, why are we going back to Gashel? Because my sister is there. Mm -hmm. 
Want... You can go there. I don't have to take her there. No, you can go with him if you want. I can take... I, I... I don't care where I go. I'm just saying she asked, so I'm just I mean, saying I don't. I mean, my have... family's back at Sanctuary. I gotta go get them. <clears throat> one of the one of the survivors like pipes up. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Whosoever wishes. The, uh, one of the not survivors. One of the because uh, this is all in the mind link, right? Yeah. You're just leaving out half the party on this conversation. Um, one of the <laughs> one of the. Uh, demon well, no, I guess if if up. the golems are dead, we can just talk. Yeah, the golems right? are all dead. Yeah. Okay, the second Unless you start said... talking out loud once the golems are all dead, half the party looks at you like, the fuck? What do you mean teleporting out of here and going off to a different <laughs> continent? <laughs> we got family here. <laughs> no, 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 no. You have an okay. angry mob we, we... surrounding you now. Congratulations. Whomsoever no, it, wishes it's... to go back to Geshale may with me. You will be teleported near a portal back to the mainlands, whatever. But you can also go back to Sanctuary if you want to do that. Kind of like, you're like, yeah, all right, that sounds fair. I am taking up to eight. You have easily eight volunteers. Okay. <clears throat> you actually have nine volunteers. <laughs> oh, they're, they're, with all of us all together, there's 18 of us? Or... Well, I'm presuming... Uh, Kieran would be among those volunteering to go back. No, no, okay. Yeah, well, there's 18 I'm, total. I re I reread, so yeah, yes. that means we I can't actually just plane shift the other because that means yeah, we can all go. That's yes, 18. We're not, le we're not leaving two behind. Marcus. Yeah, yeah, no, it's yourself and eight others. You're just leaving Marcus behind. Why? Because he's not. Here. No, you, you don't have to if you. You don't have to, because plane shift is yourself and eight others. Right. Yeah, but you said there's 18 of us. Why wouldn't Marcus be included in the 18? Yeah, because so if two right people now, cast plane shift, there are 17. if two people cast plane shift, that's Okay, so there's people. 17 right now. We just need to find Marcus. Right. And he hasn't shown up, by the way. It's been, you know, 15 minutes. You guys took out the, the undead things. Abigail strengthened her army again. And still no Marcus. She turned. Mm -hmm. Never mind. Not even talk. I'm wanting to ask my army things, but they get talk. So, where did he go? I don't know. It's almost like he just vanished. So, how about he just... <clears throat> so, does that mean that uh, Kelly Adnet was like, oh, no, nope, you're coming back with me, and like took him? That is possible, yes. What? Wait, why? Why would he just leave? When has Marcus ever been open and honest with all of you? He's turned on you quite a lot. Suddenly, we go to a different plane where he may have access to his goddess, and he leaves. Maybe he just felt like leaving. Marcus really wouldn't do that, would he? I don't know. Did you think no, a few I, I days ago he, he would? Had, but I have known clerics to get summoned away by their deities against their will. Against? Oh, you think he's talking against... to God right now? There's a legitimate That's possibility. He is a cleric, after all. <clears throat> and being at the whims of a god or goddess does not mean that you yourself have to be willing to go when they need you. Wouldn't surprise me if he was.
All right, so are we getting out of here? Ow. That's it? Yes. <laughs> he walks into a wall. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Focus. I think we should. I think you should come to Elderion. Well, he can. I, I, I'm I, the one who has the tuning. Yeah, I, before, I could come. So I, could... I, I could come. I was going to stay and see if maybe <clears throat> Marcus reappeared here, but... Well, if his deity took him, but then... I can, but I can always come back here as well. So I. That is true. All right. Tell you what, I will wait here to see if Marcus reappears here. Um, if he does, I will contact you, Sir Wellington, and you come pick us up. Okay. You you have you have uh, you have the way you have the way to contact me even through other planes. Does sending allow that? I think so. Yeah, it's just a 5% chance yeah. of failure. Yes, I can contact you no matter where you are. Okay. Okay, please do that then. Because I also, I know that with in the in the failure um, compared to here, like, well, I don't know here, but like compared to uh, blinking on the continent's name. What it's Phelan? Phelan. No. Phelan. Uh compared to Phelan, it is like um a little bit of a time difference. So um just All right. Where do we leave off? Sorry. So I don't know what the difference in the time is going to be between Phelon and Feyruin. Um, so uh, you are just going to have to let me know um, like when it is good to be picked up and we will do what we need to do. Um, <clears throat> if it's been like two days, I don't know what you want to do, like a day or two, and he hasn't shown up, maybe just let me know and we can come pick you up. That sounds like a plan. All right, you get these good people out of here. I will, um, I will make my defense. Okay. <clears throat> and Abigail, best of luck to you with rescuing your sister. So, Abigail, are we going to Histon's old castle? You could always try for the new castle, and then if it malfunctions, you wind up at the old castle. So we say Histon's new castle. 
and we try to go there. And if it doesn't work, it will only bring us to the old castle that is the only possibility. Correct? In theory, it should work just fine like that, yes. Sounds fair. So out of curiosity, because that staff has plane shift in it, does that mean she doesn't need to have the tuning fork? Tuning fork would only be... Yes, that's correct. Lucky bitch. He smacks the thing on the ground going, ding! It's like, all right, get around. All right. Callie, who you going with? 5 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Yeah. <clears throat> Everyone, whoop, to one side of there. Obviously, Kieran is going with Sir Wellington, though. And, Sir, wait, Sir Wellington is going to... He's going like this and gathering, like, energy in his hand as, like, this thing is vibrating. <laughs> Sir Wellington is going to Sanctuary. I think we're going to no. the same place. We're, going, we're all we're going to the same place? We're all trying to go to the same place. Got it. I blacked out. Let's go. Who are you going go, with? I'll Abigail go, or Wellington? I'll go with Abigail. All right. Hits the ground and just... The circle appears around them. And all of a sudden, white light just shoots up and... They're gone. All right, I need a D20 from <clears throat> Sir Wellington. Mm. Actually, one from Abigail, too. Yes, yeah, she'll also cast it. Let's go. Eh. Right. <laughs> I would... Okay. Just straight D20? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, 17. All right. Two. Two. All right. That's Silky, really highs or lows? Uh, <laughs> Gotta get high. Going high? Yeah. Why All the right. fuck not? My Are we turn. gonna end up at different ones? I think we so. Fuck. That's a low. Okay. How many variables does this equation have? So... <laughs> Am I going to the right one? You are. Sir Wellington winds up at the safe one. Oh, the what? The so what? I'm going to the right one, but You're Sir Wellington right ends up one. at the safe one. Yes, but Sir Wellington's landing at the safe one. So who did oh. I take with me? <laughs> this might be important now. Uh, anyone who was down for a, a fight pretty much went over to Abigail because yeah. Abigail was like, who wants to go and fight? We were all going to the same one. Yeah. As far as we yeah, but were. they had already congregated around you, so why bother to move? Well, you you know what she had said was, "Who wants to go back to Gishale? That's true. Yeah, that's true. It was all so it was all the hunters apart from Kieran, who then knew I was going. He's like, "I'm going with that guy." Yeah, my, <laughs> he's my like, my "Oh, boy. we're going to here. I'm going with my kid." Yeah. Um. Oh, so you got if you got... I had all my corpses arm linked, did they count as objects? And can they come with me? <laughs> corpses count as objects. They do actually count as objects, so yes. We we had like a they linked arms and it was beautiful. <laughs> and one of them put their hand on my shoulder. They came with me. All right. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll finish that sentence. For the heck of it, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. I hate all of you. <laughs> you already established that they're hot. You need to finish that sentence. They're not hot. They're big. <laughs> I can't escape these accusations. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope, we know Abigail likes the big boys. It's fine. Yep. Okay, there's like a level of undeadness that's acceptable, like and there's a level that's here. not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> it's all kind of necrophilia. It's all kind of illegal. I guess, <laughs> is it? But if it's already going to be illegal, you might as well full send it, right? Like if a you're vampire. Already gonna go to jail. Yeah, or a if dampier. you're already going to go to jail, just go to jail, legends. <laughs> no, because a zombie is is kind of gross. If you a dampier or a vampire is nothing. hot. If you don't sin, Jesus died for nothing. Oh, don't worry, she sins plenty. Oh, I'm sure just, she does. <laughs> just not, not in that department. Let's go. Can I fucking kill Histon tonight? Let's do it. 
my ultimate mission. <sighs> Abigail, I swear if you get Callie killed... <laughs> I won't get her killed, it's impossible. It's okay, it's fine, I'm immune. Yeah, you are. Plot armor. <laughs> <laughs> but... I want to kill this bitch. It's personal. All right. You, Not Callie, you appear no. right outside the front gate of this massive gothic style castle. Looks like it's been, been in ruins for millennia, but also surprisingly well preserved on the peak of this mountaintop. I'm stealing this bitch. What oh, the fuck? Side fu note, there's, you know, there's like cl dark clouds swirling and there's thunder and lightning. <laughs> Like the whole I'm triple typical evil this location, <laughs> yeah, aesthetic. There's a thick fog. Um, There's you... already frames for stained glass, but they've been blown out, so it's like hook a girl up. <laughs> Girl's kind of unemployed right now. <laughs> At fifteen. Oh no. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> This is where you get HGTV, Abigail, and Callie rebuild this. <laughs> Needs more bats. Yep. Needs more bats. Call it a gothic flame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. You guys head in. Sir Wellington, you appear back at the main castle. Um, what part of the castle were you envisioning? Oh, he was only in one area, really. So, like, of Histon's castle, which would have been the room that had the portals that were opening up besides the hallway. So All it right. would have been that You appear that in room. and you turn around and, hey, there's <clears throat> Abigail, sort of. Oh, we made it. She's here. <laughs> but she's made of obsidian. <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's not. Oh. Side note, she does have a bag of holding on her belt. Well, her, her her belt is stone, but the bag of holding isn't. Oh, you gotta rip it. You gotta rip it to get it out. No, you can just unclasp the thing that attaches it to the belt. Are are like are like the items and all that on her like still on her, but Any... she's just mm -hmm. she's just obsidian. Yes. Um anything that's non magical turned to obsidian with her. Anything that is magical is still the same. Oh, okay. Except interestingly I... enough, there appears to be so there's the book appears like it would have been hovering and there's like this magical essence, but the magical essence appeared to turn into some sort of glass or crystal maybe. And then the book itself turned to obsidian. No, I take that back. Let me double check. Nope. The book is still itself. You want a book? I start plucking all the magical items off her. Okay. You want a book too? I don't want that book. You don't want the book? You don't want the skin-bound book? No. he <laughs> He's aware of what happened last time he touched that book. Okay. He doesn't want that book. Okay. You leave the book. Besides the bag of holding, was there any other magical items on her person? Uh, I let me let me pull. I'm pulling up her character sheet. Um, because my guess is, but if it wasn't, if it wasn't like jewelry, it would have been in the bag of holding. Yeah, most of it is in the bag of holding. There are some things I think. Sorry, my computer's running a little slow. Uh, 
Da, 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 I didn't know your computer was me. So beyond the bag of holding, which is filled with some magical items, um, and the book, the fleshbound book, which Sir Wellington has chosen to leave behind, which, while it's smart, is really annoying. Um, you just love what? your fleshbound books. Why? Why do you think he? Unless, <clears throat> unless it's something where Kieran wants to take it, Kieran's welcome to. I'm not going to stop him, but. Uh, yeah, no, I myself right. am not going she to has, touch that thing. She has this little wand. She has a little wand sheathed on, at, at her side. And, uh, Naz, are you here? Hang on. Ah, no. of course Naz is gone. Naz has disappeared. Naz has abdicated. Well, there's there's uh, armor of fire resistance made of studded leather, but I don't know if she was wearing that or if it was in her bag. We'll find out because yes. Sir Wellington is not about to strip her. <laughs> Can you even strip her? You could. Wear it. You could, in theory, try to. It depends on how the statue's posed. In her case, no, yeah, with armor I... you could because it's just buckles and straps and then it kind of falls off. Now, if it was like she's, a dress. She's back. Hello, welcome back. We're, the, we're trying to decide if Abigail needs to be stripped or if her. Armor is in the bag of holding. What? Is Abigail... your studded leather armor on your person or in your bag of holding? Oh. She was wearing it. She was wearing it? Okay, yeah. she just... Sir Wellington's so not just... touching it. Okay. I mean, you just need to undo the buckles and then it falls off. But you... Yeah, no, I'm not doing <laughs> but it that. Wasn't... Yeah, but then what? Hey, it wasn't... Okay, well, you wear things under armor, first yeah, of all. Yeah, you wear things under the armor. She's not yeah, like... but still, Sir Wellington's just like, I'm <laughs> Second not of doing all, that. I'll make this really easy for you. It wasn't magical. The armor so it of fire resistance. It was magical, and I lied. <laughs> so underneath it, she is wearing her college robes. It doesn't robes. matter. He's okay. just... He doesn't want to do it. He's just like, eh. Oh, he's gonna pickpocket everything else. But did what? we? Did you have? Did you have any magical rings on or like yes, necklaces? Eh? You did. Her. Now yes. Rose, he'll be like, Whoop. <laughs> "Oh, yeah, I dare you to do it." <laughs> what? Wait, hold on. Her spell book hasn't petrified, so you could get access to all her spells. Oh, cool. Steal her necromancy spell. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to take the spell book and pocket that into his own bag of holding then. She has a necromancer's wand, which I'm not quite sure what that would look like, but I'm sure Naz has an idea. Uh, no, I actually... Yeah, that was back when we referred to Histon as Apex Necromancer. He gave me a wand. I have no oh, fucking clue yeah. what it does. I have Way no fucking. Clue. I never used it. I have no clue what it does. It... The wand as well. He would pop into his own bag of holding. <gasps> oh, she's wearing a beaut. What What does the ring look like? I'll send you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna need an intelligence check from Sir Wellington. Sure. I dare you! Oh my god, bro! <laughs> you want to start beef with Abigail? Do that. <laughs> oh boy. That's a like 16 that. plus, let's see, straight intelligence? Yep. 21. All right. This <clears throat> is on her left hand. It is not petrified. Would it? Oh, damn. The edgiest. <laughs> so <laughs> slide that off. Sir Wellington. Lorp, that is mine now. As you take it off and you kind of look at it, you process. From what you've seen, you got a 21? Yes. Wow, you need a 20 to get it. Um, this is a wedding. I have thing. a plus five to my intelligence. He's a smart boy. Mm -hmm. All right, well, he yeah. has in his hand what is clearly blessed by Mara, the goddess of love, a wedding ring. You, you goddamn Skyrims. I yes, I made a, go a Skyrim reference, I know. <laughs> I th yeah, steal noting that. that. Noting that, he will put that into Abigail's bag of holding. Thank you. How fucking dare you? <laughs> yeah, number one way to start beef. Right. <laughs> Take her wedding ring. Yeah. Where'd it go? About that. I wear it for fun. <laughs> Anybody want raccoon Play for dinner? Play queen. Play queen. Ever heard what? of roadkill? Look at this kind of rock. She's never mentioned her husband or anything. Or wife. Well, no, she hasn't. Just significant other. She hasn't, and there's a reason for that. That that's why he, that's why he... she's not. <laughs> I am establishing she is not. <laughs> there's a reason she does not mention anything, but it's not that, Markham. I can make that. God, I'm so emo. Why? Same. <laughs> I'll put it in the chat for a second. Okay. I love just... how Nads doesn't even understand the context, but just goes same. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm also so emo. It's... Yeah, I don't need context. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. Don't, look at me. Don't, you don't need any context. <laughs> just fucking there. look at my room and look at me. Do you need <laughs> any context? No. I have a fucking cathedral thing with a bat hanging off of it. Do you need yeah. any context? All right, Sir Wellington, <laughs> you get all of those items. Was there anything else that she had on her person? Look at uh, it, Naz. Look at it and tell me how emo I am. Oh. Uh, yep. Well, this is a remake I haven't heard, but yeah. It's a pretty good remake. It's a pretty good cover. Pretty solid. Hey, all of those songs are still unironically in some of my play Listen, I haven't grown but, out of my emo face. It I was never a phase. Some, I just added some goth. Let's go. It was never a phase. Now I can just do it with big kid money. It's true. I can um, pay for my own shit. And I choose I think exclusively she... poop spooky shit. Sick. Sorry. I think pretty <laughs> much I think pretty much everything um except the armor was in her bag of holding. I love Naz so much because Naz makes me feel seen. I see you. <laughs> I relate to a concerning level to many of the things. That you I have to I have to show you my Amazon list of everything I have saved for my new apartment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we will bounce so, ideas off. So, this is totally yes. irrelevant. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that I now have her bag of hold it. All right. Would Sir Wellington know not to put a bag of holding within a bag of holding? He's got a plus five oh. intelligence. Should be smart. He's big smart. Smart cat. Mm -hmm. I know that. I know that he's pretty smart, but he's also only spent two years in Phalon. You want to do experimentation yeah. and just do it and see what happens? Nest? No, no. <laughs> I don't, because I know what oh, happens. You're right. What happens? <clears throat> I don't know. You can do that. Summons the bag man. What does it? it? Makes him makes him really mad. I thought it created a black hole. 
it she makes Bagman very upset. It's a black it's like, hole. Whoops. It's like putting it's like putting Bagman through a revolving door with no exit. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, that's an easy win then if you ever encounter him. You win. He's just gonna hand the bag to Kieran. We're just gonna say that. He's gonna <laughs> be right. like, here, you hold on to this one. It's like a fanny pack of holding for him. <laughs> it is. He, he, fanny pack honestly, of he probably would put it on like a fanny pack. It, yeah. Fanny oh. pack of holding. I love it. Fun fact, within the cantrip cast world, we do have fanny packs of holding that are sold. That is true. Mm, amazing. I love it. They're, they are smaller than bags of holding, and so you can get them at a cheaper cost. Because they don't hold as much. Oh my god. I want like a dad adventure to have that like a dumbass another outfit. Fun, another fun fact. With the cargos? Is, yeah. is <laughs> It converted to shorts. Sorry. It, on Runtoki Island, the Shuppers, their little loincloths have pockets in them. They're like the little things that hang in front has like a little pocket that is a bag of holding. So they oh, just reach into their like little like holding. their their little like loincloth of holding and pull out stuff. <laughs> That's the loincloth of holding Brilliant. is so funny. Why am I green? Am I making noise? You are now when you talk. Otherwise, it just stays on you because you're oh, the last okay. one who talked. Yeah, yeah, it's like, why am I making noise? All right. Um, so is there anything else you want to take from this room? There are more magical items like in the, in the next room over. Uh... I mean, I'm not going through trying to loot. OK, you're not. You were, just, you were just taking Abigail stuff. <clears throat> yeah, because uh, yeah. she kind of like implied like I the other stuff was there. And then I was like, and I see it now. I'm like, she probably would like this stuff. OK, Um <clears throat> Next, yeah, the rest of the room. Can is... I retroactively say I did something because okay. I would I would have acted. I I realize I would have done this before we left because I've been doing it every other time. Just, uh, Rary's telepathic bond. Okay. Well, weren't we already all linked in one? We were, and then it, and then it ended, and then I would oh. have done it again right before plane shifting. Okay, yeah. Like as That's a fine. just in case, like, um. <clears throat> did it end, or did and... we just decide to talk out loud? <laughs> no, it. It did. It decide... did end. Oh, okay. okay. So it was both. That's that's what you had said because it lasts for an hour. You had said it ended, and then we just kept talking out loud after that. Um, so he would have just—I would have just cast it. more of a sense of like he's there. He's like, "Oh, Abigail, where are you guys?" At Houston's new castle. 
as specified. <laughs> okay, well, I did not end up there. We ended up at the old one. Um, I have, I so I see you right here in front of me. Um, Kieran is now holding your bag of holding. Um, I did not touch the armor on. Do you want me to take that armor off? The that armor. Feels... Oh, you have you have like uh like stud armor that's obviously magical because it's not petrified like the rest of your old body. Um, there is also a ring that I put into your bag of holding. It looked like a wedding ring, so I figured you would want that. Yes, the armor is. You can take it off. I have things under if that's what you're concerned about. <laughs> okay. I was worried. Plot twist. She was wearing pants, but no shirt. I'm kidding. Yeah, what, who the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> who, Whoa. Those are just armor? I mean, apparently... That's... God, her Characters in video games, you know? Uh, you do uh, move like this, and you're like... <laughs> uh, metal across the nibs. Uh, oh, God. Uh, well, it's leather, but it, that gets all uh, like... Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's just chafing to the max, then. Right? Like, oh, my God. You're gonna have this. Oh god, that hurt. No, <laughs> that's that why we hurt don't do me it. My soul. I have second hand. No, don't post it. That's the wrong. <laughs> that's the wrong chat that you're posting titties in. <laughs> wrong chat. Ew, whoops. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's effective, but like, at what cost? <laughs> It's like that that meme of like the the less armor you wear, the more armor you armor class you get, and then you you see the like rip barbarian who's like, what? Practically, I need this, and then and then you see him walking next to the late lady later on because she's up, she was upset about the bikini stuff, and you see him wearing the same bikini. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> very proud. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. Okay, well, I will uh, take off that armor and the studded armor and pop it into her bag of holding that Kieran is wearing as a fanny pack. Okay. Yeah, she still has her mage robes on underneath. He will He will reluctantly reach into his own bag of holding and pull out the wand and pop it into her bag, but he's going to take out her spell book and start perusing it. Okay. As they walk. All right. You want to know some spells? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Enemy <It> dead. <laughs> there are a lot of spells about uh, creating undead in here and stuff. It's, it's... Yeah. Is, is there any any for like, uh, does Abigail have any spells on like healing? <laughs> no. Uh, she does have though. Well, Vampiric Touch heals you only. <laughs> I don't know if you're interested in that. She, she has the healer... Heal selfishly. <laughs> she also has the healer feat by no, complete but accident, but I don't think that goes in your spell book. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, Vampiric Touch is about it. You can steal health points from people. What level is that? Uh, minimum level is... Or third level. Necromancy. Okay, he'll he'll open it up his book and spend like a bit of time and like transcribing over from her spell book over to his, that spell. Alright. Um uh, would there is there anything else that would be of note to Sir Wellington in your mind, Naz? Uh well like I don't know what you wise. already have. A couple of like elemental spells, summoning spells, but like undead and greater demon. 
hold person? Did you ha you had hold monster? Were you looking for hold I, person? I got hold person from one of the... Uh, okay. Uh, I assume you have counter spell. Um, do I? I Sending? Do. Yes, I do. Um, Maybe that might be useful. I do not have sending. That might be useful. Yes. He would take sending. That's third level as well. Yeah, that's fine. Sending, he'll spend like a bit of time. Like, he'll be like, well, as he said, before he sits down to do this, I will say he asks uh, you to give him a, like, a mental image of where you are right now. Yes, Abigail, that? Yes. Uh, she thinks about it. Does that work? Is that, am I able to get a, a, a like, a mental image from her? No, that's yeah. not really how it works. It's, you're, I can... you're sending. It's like, that doesn't work, okay. Um... <laughs> oh, no, you wouldn't know. It's just silence on the other end. <laughs> yeah, Abigail, so he, where are he... you, crickets? He, he realizes it's not where he's like, that's okay. Well, I'm not seeing anything, so maybe that doesn't work. Um, Abigail, can I get a perception check? Kelly, can I get a perception check? Nineteen. Ain't that bad. Nineteen. Nineteen. Let's 19. go. Let's go. We know what's up. All right. Um, someone's on the wall. What castle wall? Like how? Like as a painting, or is like they're no? Corpse? Like there are people on the walls looking down at you. Oh. Oh. Hello. Wait. What? Hi. We have an audience. You are being watched. What did you say? There are people on the castle walls looking down at Abigail, Callie, and Co. Do I recognize any of them? <laughs> Give me, what was that, 19? Yeah. Does Callie recognize I mean, any of it's them? It's foggy, Because she was experimented. So... Callie, no. Callie wasn't experimented on by Histon. Um... Abigail, you're pretty sure at least one of those forms is Histon because there is one wizardly form and a lot of undead. They're in there somewhere. Get them. Uh, gonna point. Okay, so, um, can you <clears throat> can you explain to me what your surroundings are like? Well, it was really beautiful a second ago. Now it's full of people. This ugly bitch just came in the way. <laughs> like a big castle. It's all black, foggy. Did you see the windows are broken in? Mark them. The what? Were no, the windows Callie broken in, you said? <laughs> so oh, Kelly said that. that. <laughs> so you said that. Are the windows intact? <laughs> Please describe the place to me in great detail so That's I can get us there. Trying to do. I'm waiting for someone to answer my question. <laughs> the windows are large and pointed. Yeah, Whether okay. or not they're broken in, I do not know yet. No, no, they're beautiful. They are not broken in. Well, I mean, they're a few beautiful. are, obviously. It's old, but uh, only like two or three. Most of them are actually in pristine condition. Beautiful stained glass. Most of them are stained glass. A few are broken. Excellent craftsmanship. Excellent craft craftsmanship comment from Callie. I'm a, I'm in the call too. <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> yes, need to describe it. Uh, okay, Callie, describe the surroundings, please, in as great of detail as you can, as if you were going to like make it into a painting that like that like a perfect painting to like make someone be like, you know. I could visually imagine it in my head as if I were there. Um, it's dark. It's a little stormy. Got some thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. 
Um, castle's really big, kind of spiky, spiky castle. What does that mean? Uh, comes to very sharp points. Okay. It's called Gothic architecture. Gotcha. Sure. Um, I don't know where we are, but yeah, very dark, dark, dark black castle. That was even less helpful, I feel like, than <laughs> Abigail. So, thank you. It's a gothic castle that is black. <laughs> it has stained glass windows, two of which are broken in near the bottom, near the left part. There's okay. a big front wing. <clears throat> the gate is large, spiky with metal details at the top. There are a few gargoyles, most of which are out of use, a few grotesques as well. Wait, what do you mean they're out of use? Well, they're not spouting any water, clearly. They're covered in. Hmm. That's what they do. Yes. Nice. It's very foggy. The top of it is almost completely yep. obscured. We can't see a whole heck of a lot. It's very foggy. The ground Even is... Just looking over and seeing, like, Sir <laughs> Wellington's eyes closed doing all this stuff, like, visual light. Conducting. Mentally He's mentally entering the mind palace. palace. They're about, okay. uh, <clears throat> okay. I don't know, I would guess five levels to it. Okay. Above ground. Hmm. Rough estimation. I have a rough estimation as to where it is, so that helps. <clears throat> what does it smell like? Uh, wet. Okay. Like... But like foresty fog wet. I know that well. Okay, that helps. Now lick the I'm air dimming, and tell I'm me what it tastes like. What the air tastes like? Yeah, lick the what? air and tell me what it tastes like. Wet. Slightly tree, maybe some bergamot. <laughs> you like the air, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what what sort of sounds are you hearing? Uh, right now, judgment. <clears throat> I feel like I'm being judged. Judgment. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So Sir Wellington's not going to actually do the spells right now. Like I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do that later. I'm just going to hold on to the spell book because obviously she has a new spell book. She's not going to miss the old one. Makes sense. <clears throat> All right. He goes. Okay. We're, we're inbound. And he's going to, I'm going to cast teleport. All right. Um, before he does that, while you guys are trying to figure out the whole thing with that, can I get a deck save from, dexterity save from uh, Callie and Abigail? 22. 22. Coming in hot. I am the dex lord. Mm, 15. 15? All right. Uh, is it against a spell? Yes, it is. <laughs> I lied. Can I see it? I didn't lie. Can I see it? Oh, you definitely see it. Oh, fantastic. I get advantage. Let's do it again. This time with feeling. Now it's still 22. All right. Still 15, unfortunately. My All advantage right. did not help. As you guys are standing there trying to figure out what to do, um, all of a sudden the, the dark clouds above you begin to glow red. And at the last second, too late unfortunately for Abigail and most of your companions, 
a meteor swarm descends upon Jesus! you. Jesus! And Are you fucking <laughs> That's what we're hey, gonna yo. call it for tonight. <laughs> 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 Oh, okay. I see how it is. <laughs> yeah, you guys get some extra rest tonight. Um, and I like cliffhangers. That's rude. This... <laughs> uh, Abigail, go ahead and put the the thing that we're promoting in the thing one more time. Yeah, so it is in the chat. I'll put it again, but we are part of a drive to raise funds for Doctors Without Borders, and I'm putting the D and Denial is on Team Green, so help us. Yes. Me. We are on Team Green. Go Team Green. And it's a really cool system. You guys can select um, rewards and... Does you know, work? Born Stella, what? that is a good question. I didn't originally have any idea of the, the gargoyles <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... shut. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I made it that way. That was Naz ad libbing. So someone at some point in history cemented the gargoyles' mouth shut. That's unfortunate for them. Now they are yep. just gars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So next week we are going to pick up with. Well, we'll see who survives this, um, and then Sir Wellington gets to show up to see what happened. Callie's clearly surviving. <laughs> Callie should be okay. Callie Ugh. should only take half damage of this sh shite load. You're so scared to curse, my guy. It's okay. No one's going to be mad at you. Then again, you also are usually surrounded by children, so, like, please don't pick up my cursing habits. <laughs> I'm in a professional setting, and I drop an F-bomb almost daily. Almost hourly. Any whore, come back tomorrow and see us play Legend of Kralis. Me, Markham, and Naz play Legend of Kralis. Yep. Very exciting things. Uh, we just weave Vogue over here with Ian. <laughs> just, this is like voguing, but like your weave, and like, <laughs> I almost knocked over my water. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Watching enough anime, get it. <laughs> get it. Hit him with the uh, with the with the this. No, that's that's the Korean one. The the like doing that one. The <laughs> but yeah, I'm Ian. I play Sir Wellington, your uh, shenanigan Lord Supreme over here with sticky fingers not because he's been stealing anything but because of the amount of cookies he's been eating <laughs> my hands are wet no reason i just washed For them no reason. No, it's... that's why they're wet naz did you already go yes okay naz did the promo yeah but that was the promo not the outro I'm as I play Abigail. Check out the link. <laughs> Hell yeah! Woo! All right. I'm Selkie to the internet. Yes. Callie and Lost Continent. Come back tomorrow. We'll be playing Legend of Kralis, where I'm not going to be Callie. Nope. Nope. Hopefully. And Naz isn't going to be Abigail. No. And Markham isn't going to be DMing. Nope. DM it's wacky fun times. Yeah. Yep, I am Markham, Mr. Markham of the Internet, uh, Dungeon Lord, Don't take my outro. Dungeon Lord, Supreme, Shenanigan Sovereign, all that good stuff. Um, the DLS, if you will, uh, Dungeon Lord Supreme. Uh, uh, oh, come back and catch Oh, no, us. I'm dyslexic. Okay, go on. Okay. Uh, I'll have to ask <laughs> you later what you meant by that. part of the Latter day Saints. Uh, no, I. I... No, no I think she's going with I, LSD. No, I was thinking DSL. Oh, or that. Yeah. So many different things you can do. Um, I think I'm I knew someone say. once whose initials were LSD. That's beside the point. Um, come back and catch us tomorrow, where hopefully we'll live, and then catch us here next week, and hopefully they'll live. Um, we'll have more friends. 
Yes, we and will have be more very friends, confused. and they will be so confused because we'll be starting off with me just rolling a lot of damage and saying, Callie, take half. <laughs> the rest of you, good luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, at least you didn't crit fail. That would have been double damage. Uh, so, uh, let's see. We have Iowan Adventures on Mondays. Uh, we have... It blocked out its own Ko-Fi link. Weird. <clears throat> you just uh, call it Ko-Fi? Is that not what it's called? It's a coffee. It's a coffee? It's a Kofi. Yeah. Uh, coffee or Kofi. Oops. You know how other creators say buy my <sighs> buy creator a coffee? Oh. Uh, makes sense. Well, what? Huh. That makes sense. Okay. Buy yep. creator coffee. Uh, I get now. it now. I get it. Um. Completely you guys are wrap this up quickly. Naz is descending to the shadows. <laughs> yes. The shadows are reclaiming her. <laughs> shadow... <laughs> the shadow realm cometh. Uh, let's see. So Everyone we have quickly. Iowan Adventures on Mondays. The um, Do they still have something on Tuesdays? Uh, yeah, I think State of the Union. State of the Union still. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I thought it was still gone. Um, I was thinking of one of their old Tuesday campaigns. That's what threw me off. Um, State of the Union on Tuesdays. Um, Iowan Adventures on Mondays. Mat- Moonlight Matriarchy on Saturdays. Tonight we have um, The Lost Continent on Thursdays. Uh, we're in the last couple of months of, of our storyline. Shorter if everyone wipes themselves out. Um, and then Fridays are The Legends of Greylist, which is where we will be tomorrow fighting a giant T Rex monster thingy. T Rex! So, come by, check us out. Hang out if you want, and uh, stay safe, and uh, stay lost, everybody. Ta-ta now. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends.